Hey there, fellow space enthusiasts! Let's explore the incredible planet Mars together today. Over the years, there have been multiple missions to this enigmatic planet, with the primary aim of learning more about its atmosphere, geology, and the possibility of supporting human life. In this video, we're going to talk about the cool things we could achieve by exploring and maybe even living on Mars, as well as the obstacles we might face along the way. So, buckle up and get ready to blast off on an exciting adventure to the Red Planet. The Search for Life on Mars The search for life on Mars is one of the most significant scientific quests of our time, and NASA has been leading the charge with its missions to the Red Planet. These missions use cutting-edge technology to explore the Martian surface and gather data that could hold the key to understanding whether there is life beyond Earth. So, how exactly does NASA search for signs of life on Mars? Well, there are a variety of methods employed, from drilling into the Martian surface to analyzing rock samples. NASA's rovers, such as the Perseverance, are equipped with sophisticated instruments that can detect organic molecules and other indicators that may suggest the presence of microbial life. And the discoveries that have been made in recent years are truly mind-blowing. Evidence of water on the planet, as well as the detection of organic molecules, has led scientists to believe that Mars may have once been habitable. And who knows what other exciting discoveries are yet to be made. But the search for life on Mars is not without its challenges and controversies. The issue of planetary protection, for example, raises questions about how to prevent contamination between Earth and Mars. This is an important consideration, as we don't want to inadvertently introduce our own microbes to the Martian environment and compromise our ability to detect indigenous life. Additionally, there are two different perspectives on whether we should focus on exploring and preserving Mars for scientific purposes or whether we should aim to colonize the planet. These are complex issues that require thoughtful discussion and consideration. Challenges of Colonizing Mars The idea of colonizing Mars has captured the imagination of people for years. It's exciting to think about the possibility of establishing a human settlement on another planet, but there are numerous challenges that need to be addressed before we can make it a reality. Access to resources like water, food, and air are some of the most significant challenges facing us. Unlike Earth, Mars has a harsh environment that lacks breathable air and readily available water. The good news is that scientists and engineers are working on developing solutions to these challenges. One approach is to extract water from the Martian soil, a process that has already been demonstrated by NASA's Phoenix lander. Another solution is to grow plants in controlled environments, which could provide a sustainable source of food for the human settlement. Technology also plays a crucial role in producing breathable air. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has proposed the idea of terraforming Mars, which involves transforming the planet into a more Earth-like environment. This concept remains a theoretical stage and requires significant technological advancements before it can become a reality. However, it's exciting to think about the possibility of turning a barren planet into a thriving ecosystem. Despite the potential benefits of colonizing Mars, there are ethical and environmental concerns that must be considered. The introduction of terrestrial microbes to the Martian environment could contaminate the planet and hinder our ability to search for life on the planet. Additionally, establishing a human settlement on Mars could come at the cost of damaging the planet's delicate ecosystem. It's crucial to weigh in the benefits and risks of colonizing Mars carefully. While the prospect of expanding our reach into space is significant, we must ensure that we are doing so in a responsible and sustainable manner. We have a responsibility to protect the Martian environment and ensure that our actions do not negatively impact future scientific discoveries. As we continue to explore the possibility of colonizing Mars, it's essential to consider the ethical and environmental implications of our actions. Another ethical concern related to colonizing Mars is the potential impact on indigenous life forms if they exist. While there currently is no evidence of life on Mars, the possibility cannot be ruled out entirely. In the case that microbial life or other forms of life are found on Mars, it raises questions about our responsibility to protect and preserve these life forms. Moreover, there is the question of whether we should prioritize space exploration and colonization over addressing problems here on Earth, such as climate change, poverty, and healthcare. Some argue that we should focus on solving these issues before investing significant resources in space exploration. Others believe that space exploration and colonization have the potential to advance technology and scientific knowledge that could ultimately help address issues on Earth. Regardless of where one stands on these issues, the potential benefits and risks of colonizing Mars are complex and multifaceted. 
it is essential that we continue to engage in dialogue and debate about the future of space exploration and colonization and consider the ethical and environmental implications of our actions. Colonizing Mars is a fascinating and challenging endeavor that holds the potential to advance human knowledge and expand our reach into space. However, before we make it a reality, we must address the challenges related to essential resources, as well as consider the ethical and environmental implications of our actions. By doing so, we can ensure that our exploration and colonization of Mars are responsible and sustainable and ultimately contribute to the betterment of humanity. Mars Exploration and the Future of Space Exploration Space enthusiasts, it's time to take a step back and look at the big picture of Mars exploration and space exploration in general. As a species, we've already been driven by curiosity and the desire to explore. From the earliest days of humanity, we've been exploring and discovering the world around us. And space exploration is the natural evolution of this curiosity. By studying the planets of the universe, we can gain a better understanding of our place in the cosmos. Mars exploration is just one chapter in this long history of exploration. By studying Mars, we can learn more about our own planet and how it came to be. We can also gain insights into the history of the solar system and the potential for life on other planets. But as with any endeavor, there are risks and downsides to space exploration and colonization. Space travel is inherently dangerous and expensive, and there are concerns about the potential environmental impacts of colonizing other planets. We must also consider whether we should prioritize solving problems here on Earth before looking to colonize other planets. These are complex and challenging questions that require thoughtful discussions and debates. As a society, we must come together to consider our priorities and weigh the benefits and risks of space exploration and colonization. Ultimately, whether or not we decide to colonize Mars, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is something that will always be worth striving for. So let's keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep asking the big questions. The universe is waiting for us. The potential benefits of space exploration and colonization are immense. In addition to advancing scientific knowledge, space exploration has also led to the development of new technologies and innovations that have improved our daily lives. Satellites, for example, have transformed how we communicate, navigate, and monitor the planet. Furthermore, exploring and colonizing other planets also could provide a backup plan for humanity in case of catastrophic events here on Earth, such as natural disasters or human-made catastrophes. The survival of the human species could potentially depend on our ability to establish colonies on other planets. However, the pursuit of space exploration and colonization must be balanced with the potential risks and downsides. Space travel is inherently dangerous and expensive, and we must take precautions to ensure the safety of astronauts and the preservation of our planet's environment. We must also consider the ethical and environmental implications of colonizing other planets and ensure that we are doing so in a responsible and sustainable manner. The decision of whether or not to pursue space exploration and colonization is complex and a multifaceted one. It is a decision that requires thoughtful consideration of our priorities as a species and the potential benefits and risks involved. Ultimately, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is a noble goal that has driven humanity forward throughout history, and space exploration and colonization represent the next frontier in that pursuit. Technological Advances in Exploring Mars Exploring Mars requires advanced technology that can withstand the harsh environment of the Red Planet. Over the years, significant strides have been made in developing technology that can gather data, analyze samples, and transmit information back to Earth. One of the most significant technological advancements in exploring Mars is the development of rovers. NASA's rovers, including the latest rover Perseverance, are equipped with a range of instruments and sensors that can detect signs of life analyze soil samples, and even fly drones to map the terrain. These rovers are designed to withstand the harsh environment of Mars and are powered by advanced solar panels that collect energy even in low-light conditions. Another crucial technology in exploring Mars is communication systems. Due to the distance between Mars and Earth, communication between the two planets has taken several minutes, making real-time control of the rovers impossible. As a result, the rovers must be pre-programmed with instructions for their missions. NASA's Deep Space Network provides communication links between Earth and Mars, allowing scientists to receive data and send commands to the rovers. In recent years, private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin have also been developing technology for exploring Mars. SpaceX's Starship, for example, is designed to transport humans and cargo to Mars and is powered by the reusable rocket engines. 
Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket is also being developed with the goal of sending payloads to Mars. In addition to exploring Mars with rovers and rockets, there's also the possibility of sending humans to the Red Planet. This will require advanced life support systems that can sustain human life in the harsh Martian environment. NASA has been developing technologies such as the Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, MOXIE, which is designed to produce oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. Overall, exploring Mars requires cutting-edge technology that can withstand the harsh environment of the planet and transmit data back to Earth. With the continued development of new technologies, we can expect even more exciting discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the Red Planet. Mars exploration presents exciting opportunities and significant challenges. We discuss the ongoing search for signs of life on Mars, the challenges of colonizing the planet, and the broader implications of space exploration for humanity. Despite the obstacles, space exploration and colonization can potentially benefit humanity in various ways. It's important to continue to explore and study Mars and other planets to learn more about the universe and our place in it. What do you think? Do you believe in space exploration and colonization should be a priority for humanity? Share your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more exciting content about space and science.